Hello, hello, you beautiful souls, and welcome back to my channel. I hope we are all thriving and surviving on whatever day it is that you are watching this. Today, I want to talk about soul connections and how what I believe when, so when we have a soul connection with someone is that our souls are connected for the rest of our lives. And I'm going to explain exactly what I mean by that, because you might be listening to this being like, this chick is crazy and that's fine. Um, but this is my belief. It doesn't have to be your belief. So yeah. But anyways, I think that when we have a relationship with someone, and I don't just mean this in a romantic sense, when I use the word or the term relationship, I am talking about romantic partners, friendships, family members, pets, career. What is going on with my hair right now? Okay, that's just, okay, let's see. Um, I am talking about any type of partnership that we really have in our lives. When I say relationships, that's what I'm referring to. So I firmly believe that whenever we have a genuine connection with someone, a genuine relationship with someone that is mutually shared, where we are both mutually loving, mutually vulnerable with each other, mutually there for each other, that our souls are connected for the entirety of our lives when we go our separate ways. And I'm talking about this in like a healthy, loving, compassionate, empathetic way. I'm not talking about this in like a toxic, chaotic, abusive, traumatizing way. I'm only referring to this, my, okay, my hair's just gonna keep doing this. I am only referring to this in a healthy, loving way. So if you have a toxic relationship with someone, I don't think that you are connected for the rest of your lives. I don't think that is a soul connection. I think that the only way that the souls can genuinely connect is when it is like pure love, pure, like pure love energy, pure light energy, not like the toxic bullshit that we all see all over the social me social media all the time. But anyways, when we, and that's how I believe that we share our souls with someone. When I say shit, when we share our souls with someone, that's exactly what I'm referring to. A mutually loving relationship that we have with another soul on this planet at this time. And we are so vulnerable with them. We are versions of ourselves that we aren't really with other people. We let them see sides of us and we let them see aspects of us that we don't show to regular people in our lives, that we don't show to the outside world. And we let them into our hearts. We let them into our worlds. We bring our walls down for them. And when we have that genuine, pure connection with someone and you have that genuine, pure love for someone, I think that I almost see it as like a invisible string that connects you to that person for the rest of your lives. That you can almost sense this person when, and the reason that I'm talking about this because I had an experience, like I've thought this my entire life that when we have these genuine soul connections that we are connected for our entire lives. But recently I've ha I had an experience with someone from my past that I have a soul connection with and that they needed me in a sense. And the universe continuously sent me signs and signals that they needed me and they did. So when we share our soul with someone and we get to the point with someone, even if they are no longer in our lives anymore, because the person that I'm referring to, we haven't been in each other's lives for almost a decade now that, and I could still sense that because even though we haven't been in each other's lives for almost 10 years, we still have that soul bond. We still have that soul connection because we were very connected at one point in both of our lives and we crossed paths with each other for a long period of time we were very important people in each other's lives and that leaves an imprint and when you have a relationship with another soul that is around for a while in your life they impact you in such an important positive and beneficial way they leave an imprint on your soul and I think that we leave an imprint on theirs too because when we come into people's lives and we leave a positive beneficial impact we are imprinting them in a way that never goes away kind of like that invisible string that I'm talking about that connects soul to soul to someone when you go your separate ways for each other because when you have 
that genuine connection with someone and it never really does go away because even as we grow and we evolve as beings on this planet during our lifetime that love is still always going to be there that love is still always going to be shared because it wasn't tarnished in any way it wasn't like when I'm explaining this I know that sometimes we because we hear a lot about trauma bonds and bonds from toxic relationships and we hear so much about the bad in relationships and the bad that comes after it and the bullshit that kind of comes with traumatic relationships and we hear so much about that that we forget sometimes that we can have such pure genuine connections with other souls on this planet and walk away from the relationship and still have love for them and not have bad blood and not wish ill will on them or have hate towards them or anything you can grow apart from someone else because we as we grow up in life sometimes we grow apart from people and that's just a part of growing up because like you either are going to grow together or you're going to grow apart that's inevitable it's like when you're in a relationship when you're in a romantic relationship with someone it's either you're going to get married or you're going to break up those are the only two outcomes and when you are in a partnership with people in your lives the only outcomes that you have whether it is a romantic partner a friendship family member whatever you are either going to grow together or you are going to grow apart it's the inevitable that comes with life and growing apart from people in today's society is kind of demonized in a way that it has to be some big dramatic story as to why this person isn't in your life anymore but you can just not like your chapter in each other's lives could have just come to a close without some big dramatic reason as to why and if it happens in that way that you just grow apart from each other I don't know about you but for me my love is still there for that person if I loved you at one point in my life my love is going to be there for you endlessly and eternally for the rest of my life which is why the experience that I've had with this person from like my past recently is so I want to I want to say the word influential but I don't mean it in that way because I can't think of the word that I'm trying to say right now but it's so impactful for me because we shared love for each other at one point in our lives we were very important people to each other at one point in our lives and that love is still there so when the universe was sending me signs and signals that they needed me my heart like felt it on such an intense level that I was like I have to reach out to them I have to know if they're okay I have to know if this is right and it was right my gut instinct was right and our guts I live by gut feelings our guardian angels I have a whole video on it I live by gut feelings our guardian angels I don't think our intuition is ever wrong our bodies can connect to energy that we are not consciously aware of so always listen to your gut especially women feminine intuition no offense guys is so strong when women feel something our instincts are usually never wrong and it's scary how accurate feminine intuition is as the divine feminine baby she is a force to be reckoned with that is for damn sure but going into the whole point that I was talking about in this video is that we have these soul connections with people in our lives that had an imprint on us in such an amazing and beautiful way that it stays with us throughout the entirety of our lives. And if they, if someone you share a soul connection with ever needs you or you ever need them, they will know it if you pay close enough attention or you will know it if you play close play blah, 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 blah. pay close enough attention because when i was having this experience like a couple weeks ago it was literally the universe throwing things in my face about this person that i had not thought of in years we had not spoken in almost a decade and 
they just kept coming up over and over and over and over again. And I kept getting this gut feeling, you need to reach out, you need to reach out, you need to reach out. And I was like, no, no. And then finally I was like, you know what, fine, I will. I will reach out. And they needed me, which is why I was meant to reach out, which was, which was why the universe was sending me all of the signs that they were, because they knew on a soul level that they needed me. It was almost like our soul, like a calling card, like the Batman signal. It's almost like you can send the Batman signal to people that have been in your life before when you need them again. But I do want to emphasize too that my belief is that this is a mutually beneficial thing. Like you both mutually have to share your souls with each other. It can't just be one person bears their soul and the other person doesn't to create the invisible string that I'm talking about. It has to be like a mutually shared vulnerability and love with one another so that that can form like heart chakra to heart chakra. So that is my belief on shared souls. And I have had this conversation with many other people in my life. So I know I'm not the only one that believes this, but if you have had people in your life where you have shared a soul with, it's crazy how much our intuition can know when they need us. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you take something out of this video to help you with your soul connections in your life. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.